Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna. If you're new here, I own an online store called Breathe Boutique. I'm finally gonna be making the jewelry display cards that I have talked about in probably my last two videos. I did have some extra time today to mess around and see if I could figure out how to do them. This is what they turned out like. I'm gonna make them again so you guys can see exactly how I did them. Here is what they turned out like. I think they're very cute, but I just wanted a little bit more design on them. Um, in my last video I talked about, I was working on my new website, which did launch. I did purchase the template off of Etsy. So my logo is now different, which is the logo you see on these display cards. So let's go ahead and get into it. If I look tired, I most definitely am. Um, for my full-time job, I am a property manager for an apartment community. We are currently on fire watch, which means our fire panel at work that sends signals to the fire department to let them know that there is a fire um, is not working. So me, my maintenance, and my courtesy officer are currently rotating shifts on property, and you do have to walk property once every hour and initial off that you walked and everything's fine. Um, so my last shift was was from 4 till 8 a.m. and then I came home and went right back to sleep for a little bit um, and my next shift is in the morning at 1 a.m. until 5 a.m. I believe so I'm a little tired but I'm punching through so you guys bear with me what I'm gonna be using to make these jewelry display cards is gonna be my Cricut Explore Air 2 some cardstock. I purchased a pack of a bunch of different pinks from Michaels. And then I used the round corner punch that I showed in a previous video. I got this off of Amazon. My two hole earring punch, which I also got off of Amazon. Then my my light grip mat, which we've stated before, she's been used a ton, so she's looking a little rough and my printer which is the hp desk jet so i am on canva and i'm gonna go ahead and click the create a design at the top right then down here i'm gonna select custom size automatically populated px so i'm gonna do inches and then i'm gonna type in two by three point five and I'm pretty sure this is the standard size for a business card, so it does pop up business cards down here. But I'm going to go ahead and select Create New Design. I have my blank template here, and what I'm going to do is click the Upload button over here on the left. And I'm going to upload my logo, which if you don't have a logo and you just want to create something here, Canva has a bunch of great tools where you can just create Anything that you would like it to say, you could type your business name, you could add graphics to the jewelry display card, whatever you'd like. But I am just going to go ahead and upload this image. I'm going to place it where I want it to go. Probably make it a lot larger. So now that I have it where I want it to go, I'm going to go ahead and click the share button at the top right and select the download button. Then I did download this as an SVG because I want the background to be clear. I don't know if that's what it does, but I'm, I'm just going with it. It worked for me, so that's what I've selected. And then I click the transparent background because essentially I want all of this white to be gone because I'm printing it on pink cardstock and I want that to be my background. So I'm going to select those two options and click download. My download has popped up, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up, right click, save as, and get it saved to my desktop. We'll just do display card. Now we've headed over to Cricut Design Space. We're going to go ahead and select the new project option at the top right. And I'm going to go ahead and upload that jewelry display card that I saved from Canva to my canvas. I'm going to do upload image and browse my desktop.
All right, so it has this clear background, which is exactly what I wanted because I do not want it to print white because I am using that pink cardstock again, and that's what I want my background to be. And I'm going to make this about two, I think we did, yeah, two inches long. And then what I'm going to do is grab one of the shapes over here from the left hand column and I'm just going to select the square and I'm going to resize this square to two inches by three and a half inches. So it's currently two inches. I just need to bring it down to 3.5. Right. And I want to bring my design forward. So I right clicked, I'm going to select bring forward. And then for me to see better, I'm going to click the shape and select white. So there you have it. All right, so this overhangs just a little bit, so I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. It's still a little too small. I just want to make sure that it fits right. All right, so that looks good. But because they're not attached, we do want to click out here in the free space and drag over those two things and then select the flatten option down here. So now they're attached and I can move it around. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is duplicate these. I think I can get six of these on one of my print to cut sheet settings. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this five times to make six cards. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and click the make it button at the top right. Right now it's just showing me what my cards are going to look like on the print to cut sheet. Now that I have seen this and everything looks good, I'm going to go ahead and click continue down here at the bottom right. And we are going to send to printer. I've selected my HP desk jet and then I'm going to remove the bleed. I'm going to cut on my system dialog because I want the printer settings to pop up so I can use the best quality. We're going to click print and then I make no changes to the paper type. I just leave it on plain paper, but I am going to go ahead and change the print quality to best and click OK. And then we're going to click print, but before you do that, make sure that you load your paper into your printer if you're using cardstock. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and load my paper in there and print this out. So this is how it turned out. I'm going to go ahead and put this on my Cricut mat and you do not have to add the tape to the black lines like I do with my stickers because this is not glossy paper. My Cricut will read the black reading lines just fine. Alright, so we want it to be inches and inches. We'll go ahead and line this up on our mat. And then we're going to go ahead and load it up. I did use the poster board settings because I did try the cardstock option first and it did not cut all the way through. So we're going to go ahead and try poster board. And if it doesn't work for whatever reason, we will just cut it again and it should be fine. But I'm going to go ahead and click the start button. it cut it 
pretty good. I think I would definitely recommend doing the poster board versus the cardstock, even though this is cardstock. Um, you can see they're already like peeling off of the board, so that's a good sign. They're coming off. <laughs> yeah. Some stuff. Let's see. This is what they came out like. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and round these corners. I think it just makes it look a lot more neat and clean and just a little bit more high quality. So I'm going to go ahead and use the corner rounder that I got off of Amazon and get these rounded. This actually has three different options you can use. I think I did 10 millimeter one last time, so that's the one I'm going to do. It's going to stick the corner of your card into here and make sure that the edges go all the way flush with both sides or else it won't cut right. You're just going to snap it off and look, looks so good. I'm going to go ahead and do that to all of these and then I'll come back. Go ahead and add the two holes that the earrings will go into. I'm going to use my earring hole punch that I got off of Amazon. You're just going to slide this into here and what I did was make sure that I had it almost lined up with the middle the best I could and just punch and then you have two holes in the center of your jewelry cord. Looks so good. I'll show you what I was using before. It's so plain. So these are so much better. I am doing another pop-up next Saturday and it is the one that I did my very first video on YouTube for. I did not film the actual pop-up so I will be filming the pop-up this time. I'm very excited to be able to use these. It's going to be it's going to look so much better displaying my jewelry at this pop-up event. Excited I got this done in time for that. That is how I made my jewelry display cards. I think they look so good. did also want to show you the earrings after I hung them on the cards. You can't see my logo, so I definitely think I'm going to use these smaller ones for maybe my smaller earrings, and I may cut out some bigger ones so you can actually see the design and the logo. We're just playing around with it for now. No judgment here. My next video will be next Sunday, and that is going to be the whole pop-up preparation, setup, how it went, all of that good stuff. If you guys want to see that whole process, if that's something that you'd like to watch, definitely like and subscribe to my channel so you can be notified whenever I post that video. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something today. I just learned this, so I was super excited to share it with you guys. I hope you'll have a great rest of your weekend. Y'all, the sweaters that I have been waiting on forever actually just arrived, so I wanted to show you really quick. Now I'm at the end of this video. They're so cute. Look how cute. I love it. I'm so excited for these because they weren't even supposed to come until after my birthday, which is this Saturday, I believe. All right, so this is what came in. I love it so much. So that is going to be it for today's video. I'm going to go try and get some rest before I have to go to work at 1 a.m. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. This was definitely something that I just learned within the last 24 hours so I could make this video for you guys. So I really hope it helps some of you guys out. If you guys enjoyed this and if you did, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Bye guys. Oh, 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 oh,